gonna show you a really simple method on how to create braids in Blender. We're gonna need a single vertex at the center of the world, so we're gonna start with the default cube. Then in edit mode, select all the vertices and merge at center. Now here are the two shapes that we need to achieve, a Superman S and a figure of 8. We'll be looking at the Superman S from the negative y axis, so the front view, and we'll be looking at the figure of 8 from the z axis, so the top view. Now we're gonna be relying on the grids to guide us, the skill doesn't matter at the moment, we can always tweak them later. So let's go into the top view, the z axis, and we're gonna be extruding the vertex in this manner. So extrude, snap to this grid, extrude, snap to this grid, and keep going until we get that figure of 8. Then go into the front view, the negative y axis, and bring down your last extruded vertex by one grid. Then select more by hitting Control numpad plus, or whatever shortcuts you've assigned it to if you don't have a numpad, and bring it down by one grid. Select more, down by one grid, select more, down by one grid, and repeat until you get that Superman S. Once you're done, you should end up with something like this. Now that we have this shape, let's convert it into a curve, then subdivide it by 1 or 2, then throw on an array modifier, and set the vector of x to 0. For this to work, all I know is that we have to somehow align this pattern in such a way that it loops forever. But the thing about braids is that they actually consist of three clumps of hair. And this pattern that we have right now is only responsible for one clump of hair. So yes, the solution is pretty straightforward. So all we gotta do is to divide negative 1 by 3 on the vector of z. And now we have the building blocks to bring the braids to life. Then head over to to the object data properties, geometry, bevel, and increase the depth. You'll soon realize that you don't exactly have to be too precise with the array values as long as it looks right. Now what if you wanted to UV unwrap this, or maybe do a bit of sculpting to fit your style? For that, we're gonna remove all the modifiers that we had just created, then convert to mesh. Then simply reapply all of the modifiers with the same settings, and just like that, you can now unwrap your UVs so that it works with your shaders, and sculpt till your heart's content. Let's create a path curve to control our braids. In order for you to control the braids with a curve, you're gonna need to do three things. Number one, to have the starting point of a curve to be the origin point. Number two, to fit the curve perfectly within the braids, which is why we should utilize the world origin to make our lives easier. Number three, apply a curve modifier on the braids and pick the curve we had just created. You can now move the points of the curve around and even play with the scale of the vertices. Parent the braids to the curve and now you have control of the position and the overall scale of the braids. Here are two things to avoid doing. Number one, aligning the curve with the braids in edit mode, and number two, applying any one of these object transformations to the curve.